Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the first episode of the Permissions mini-series. In this very short series, we're going to make a basic permissions plugin. Um, the way that I have the series laid out is today we're going to make yet another custom settings manager. I know that these are getting boring, but I've already taken all of the root stuff right here, so we're just going to implement the methods. Um, I'm not going to do a commands video because you guys already know how to do commands and whenever I post a commands video it never gets a lot of views which makes sense because you don't need to watch it. So I'm gonna do the commands in between this episode and the next episode and I'll just quickly show it to you guys so that you can see uh, what it looks like. But after that, we're going to do uh, bucket integration, and I will look into Vault integration. I know that Vault internally uses um, the bucket has permission method, um, so we might not even need to do it, but the very important thing is getting it to work with um, bucket so that your permissions will register across all of the plugins and they will work. Um, so as you can see, it's going to be a very short series. Um, so let's just get started. We're going to write uh, two methods. One method is going to be for adding permissions, and one method is going to be for removing permissions. Um, now the way that we're going to go about storing these permissions is we're going to have, as you can see, I wrote out a sample configuration file. The root node is perms. Under that we have each person's name, and then we have a list of all the permissions that they have. Now, I believe that um, in a previous video I showed you guys how to do saving with lists. In fact, I know I did, but um, we'll just do a quick review. So, public void add perm string player um, string perm. And what we're going to do, and this, uh, both methods are going to be pretty similar, but we're going to say list string perms equals uh, config dot get string list at perms dot player. Um, import list. The first thing we should probably do is we should. Excuse me. If config dot can if um, perms dot player and that's supposed to be so if it's not there, then uh, config dot set perms dot player to a new array list and string. So what we're doing here is we're going to check and see if the configuration does not contain um, the player. Uh, if it does, if it does not, then we're going to um, set it as a new, like an empty array list. Uh, and then we're going to continue on and we're going to get the, um, this list of strings will contain all of the perms. So we return your.mom and l.ol. Um, and then we're going to say perms.add perm config dot set perms dot player to perm and one important thing is we need to say player equals player dot to string because um, the other problem in the other plugin was um, uppercase versus lowercase so we're just gonna make it easy here and make sure that we um, that we make it lowercase and when I said to string I don't know why I did that that's to lowercase so we just want to make sure that anytime we call it, it's always going to be lowercase. So what we're doing is we're getting the list of permissions, we're adding a permission, and we're setting it. If you just did get string list and then you added something to it, that wouldn't work because you're receiving a list object, but it just represents all of the strings in there. It's not a direct link to the configuration file. So mod modifying it that way wouldn't work. So instead we get the perm permissions, we add our permission, and then we set it again so it'll um, 
add the new string list with all of the with the new permanent. And then finally, we just need to save. Um, the last thing that we're gonna do remove perm, and it's going to be pretty much the same. Um, we're going to use remove, and I think that that's pretty much all that we really need to do here. Um, you know, if they don't exist, we'll give them an empty array list. Um, we get the string list. Um, the remove method um, in an array list, uh, if, if this doesn't exist in the list, it won't give us an error. It just won't do anything. Remove is actually a boolean, so, um, you know, you'll see says returns true if the uh, list contains the specified element. So, if it doesn't, it would return false, but we don't really care whether it works uh, whether it works or not, because it will work if they have the permission. And that's basically all that we need to do here. So, uh, this takes care of adding and removing permissions. Uh, I'm going to do the commands. It's just going to be um, permissions add remove... Um, as far as list, we might as well do that, um, and we'll do public, in fact, let's just make this easier, um, get perms for string player, I'm gonna say, um, return, uh, we're going to actually just take this, and we're going to say return, so now we can just say um, list string perms equals get perms player. So I just made it easy, a little bit easier, and also um, I'll have a command for adding, removing, and listing. So it'll print out all of the permissions that you have. Um, and that's about it. Uh, in the uh, main classic since Java plugin, I set it up is very important because if you forget uh, you won't know what the problem is but uh, that would be the problem so that is all for this episode I uh, get another custom settings manager but this one uh, involved lists um, in the next video we're going to integrate this with bucket which I think is going to be pretty cool because um, that's definitely a new thing I will look into vault integration to see if there's anything that vault does special that Bucket wouldn't do to see if it's worth it. But if you guys are really interested in that, I guess I could do it anyways. Um, so that's all for this video. As always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I will see you guys very soon with uh, the next video in this series. Bye.